right, guys, welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. I'm here with my very first guest. want to jump straight into fitness and specifically talk about body training. His name is Arnold Okechotieno, and he's a fitness instructor. Uh, Karibu sana to the show. You're currently with Fit Fan KE. Um, and you also personally train uh, individuals. Yes. Great. So maybe you can begin by just letting us know what is body toning? Uh, body toning is all about the physical uh, workouts that aims at developing the musculature. Mm -hmm. yeah, when I say toned, I mean leanness, low body fat, and uh, uh, low body fat body and... Uh, Leanness. Leanness of your muscles. Yes. All right. Um, so usually then, is there a system as to which one needs to go sort of before they are able to say that they're toning their bodies? Because a lot of people start with saying, I just want to lose weight or I want to gain weight. Is body t Are body toning exercises incorporated in those or is it first a process? First you deal with the weight loss or the, the weight gain and then thereafter is when you can begin working on toning the body. Uh, when you talk about toning the body, there are three major things that need to be incorporated. That is stretches, cardio and, uh, and workouts, strength workouts. Mm -hmm. yes. Strength training. Strength training. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you could be body toning as you're losing weight. Yes. It doesn't have to be exclusive from it. Yes. So then, still speaking on body toning, I guess one of the major concerns that people have, especially when they're losing a lot of weight, is say sagging skin, right? Are these some of the issues that body toning can address? Yes. Especially for ones who've lost a lot of weight. Yes. How does that happen? How does it address that? Um, when you do strength uh, training, when the muscles when the muscles lag, when you do strength, your muscle will be a bit firm. So when uh, when you do more of cardio, you lose you lose uh, you burn fats, your skin come loose. So when you do more of strength training, your skin come back to normal. Okay. Yes. Well, <clears throat> the other question then is, do you need a lot of equipment? Do I have to do this in a gym, or can I still tone my body even at home? You can do home workout without any equipment. Okay. Yes. That's great. Maybe you can show us some of those. Let's jump straight into some workouts now. Okay. So the first one of the first workout I'll do is called the sumo squats. Okay. You could do this when you're at home. You stand straight, then you go down slowly, you chest out, then you come up. Mm -hmm. You target your glutes and your upper body. Then you come up. We could do something called the single stand Approximately, how, before you move on even, approximately how many of those sumo squats should one be doing? I can do like uh, 15 reps, 12 reps, and 10 reps. Okay. Yes. Or oh, in that order? In that order. Okay. Yes. 15, 12, 10. 10. Okay. Yes. So after that, I'll do another, uh, I'll do one stretch. So this will work more than side obliques. Okay. So you raise one of your hands this way, then you stretch to that side, you'll work your side obliques. Yeah. That will also help you to burn fats on these other sides. Just that stretching? The stretches. So the more you do the stretch in the morning, before you do any, before you do any workout, you need to stretch your body to get ready for the workouts. Yes. Okay. Um, talk about then, again, still on the legs before the sumo work. I mean, you, you showed us the sumo squats, which again you said is targeting the glutes. Is it also, it's helping your hamstrings, I'm sure, because uh, hamstring squats well. will <laughs> certainly burn <laughs> your legs. Yes. Um, how about like your the front of the thigh? What else can someone do? Uh, for the thigh, you can do something called the front lunches. You could go down this way. You target the front of your knees. Mm -hmm. It strengthens your knees, actually. It also works your, your thighs. Yeah. So you go down slowly and you come up. Okay. So the more you do this, it also helps your knees. You can do this at home. You don't need to go to the gym to be strong with the knees. Yeah. Do this at home. The more you do it at home, uh, the more you do this, more workouts, the more your knees get better. So, but for those who say, like, if they experience any sort of discomfort during a front lunge, I hear, like, a, a back lunge is just, is as okay. Yeah, we can do a front lunge and a reverse lunges. Maybe you can demo the reverse So, one. when I do this, I do the front lunge. Right. When I do this, let me just front this one. Yeah. I'll do this. That's the reverse lunge. Okay. To front lunge. 
Can you do fast. just the reverse lunge or do you have to do both? Do they work different muscles? Yeah, when you do most of the reverse lunge, it works on your, uh, your, your calves, leg calves. These are called the hamstring. Uh -huh. So more do, more, when you do more of the reverse, reverse lunges, you work more on your, on your on this part of the, the hamstrings. And also works on your glutes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. What about the arms? Lots of people want those Michelle Obama arms. <laughs> How do we get those? So when you want to get the arms, you do what called the push-ups. You could do a single stand push-ups. So you go down. So when you go down, you pull one of your legs up. Is this for beginners? No, for beginners. You do a special. Special. <laughs> you put all your knees down. <laughs> You put all your knees down, uh -huh. then go slowly, your chest next to the floor, then you come up. Okay. Yes. So easy push-ups in Akani Muhimu, because every trainer I bring here always talks about yeah, push-ups. Push-ups, you work your triceps and your biceps as well. Yeah. Yes. So uh, like for push-ups, how many should one be like aiming You could be doing do? like as many as possible. It depends on your energy level, cool advice. You do 20 reps, 15, then 10. Okay. Yes. So on average then, should body toning, if one is really, really emphasizing on body toning, um, how many of those different exercises should they do? I know you've talked about three reps at least for each exercise. For each exercise yeah. So how many exercises, do you work your full body every single time? Yes. Should we spread it out over a week and say it's only two or three times a week that we're working out? Or would you encourage one to do more? Um, I'll encourage one to do more because well, when you want to tone up your body, uh, you should fight on each, you should give each emphasis on each part of the body. Mm -hmm. Should not give more on the legs and more on abs and less on chest. Give full body and each emphasis. Mm -hmm. Give them each equal workouts. Don't give more on one part. So if you give one one more, or give more on one part, your body will not be balanced. Okay. Yes. Plus, you can't even spot reduce, can you? Sorry? You can't reduce fat in only one area. Anyways. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. Okay. So approximately, how many times a week should we be aiming to do this? Uh, for good, you know the body needs to need to rest. So you do like three times in a day, three times in a week. That could be Monday. You skip one day, Tuesday, or you could do Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday. And Fridays. Yeah, Monday, Wednesday, week. Friday. Yes. Okay, and so you said at least for your chest, your arms, your your triceps, biceps, push-ups would be good. Yes. Um, for your obliques and your core, you've shown us some stretches. Yes. Um, and then our legs, there's. Squats, squat, the reverse lunges, and lunges. Yes. All right, and with that, like that's a full body workout. Yes, full body workout. So if we do that Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we should begin to see some Very difference. Good. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much for coming on to the show, yes. and uh, maybe you can give us your contacts if someone wants to get in touch with you. How do they reach you? Um, I have a Twitter handle called AnalExpert. dot ke. Uh, my ha my phone contact is zero seven eighteen mm -hmm. five one six one six five. All right. Thank you very, very much. I've been talking to Arnold Oketch Otieno, again, who's a fitness instructor, and we've been learning a bit about body toning. Hopefully, you guys can follow those along. Mazezo push-ups. <laughs> ah, yeah. It's okay. Tuta, tuta manage, tuta manage. But uh, right now, we're going to take a short break as we get ready for our next segment. Still in this hour, we're going to be talking about uh, dealing with real-life issues affecting young people. And also in this hour, we'll be looking at Forex training as we Forex trading rather as we talk with our business leader for the day. Stay tuned. This is Full Circle with Joyce. Remember to keep your feedback coming in to double two triple nine.